Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Dom. And we are Tom, Tom and Dom, Dom Travel. Travel. Welcome to our ship tour of the beautiful Sky Princess. Sky Princess is a Royal Class cruise ship currently operated by Princess Cruises. She is the fourth Royal Class ship in the Princess fleet and commenced operations in October 2019. Sky Princess consists of 15 passenger decks, a crew complement of 1,346, a uh, passenger capacity of 3,660. On deck 5 at the front of the ship you will find the Lotus Spa. The spa features a wide range of treatments designed to send travellers to a world of relaxation and harmony. Here's the treatment list and the associated prices during our cruise in April 2022. To have a look at the list in more detail, just pause the video. Guest Services is located directly next to the Lotus Spa. Here you'll be able to query any issues regarding your time on board and also find computer systems to check your onboard account. Opposite the guest services, you'll find the shore excursions desk where you can find a range of excursions for your destinations. Sabatini's is the Italian speciality restaurant on deck 5. It's located in the same area as guest services and offers guests a traditional Italian meal in a beautiful setting. Sabatini currently costs $25 per person. On deck 5 you'll find the main piazza. It's the hub of the ship with many bars and restaurants located around it. It can get particularly busy and spans over three floors. It plays host to live entertainment on a nightly basis. It's a perfect location for pre-dinner drinks or after-show cocktails. During special events, the main piazza also hosts a number of activities hosted by the onboard entertainment team. Just off the main piazza on deck 5, you'll find vines. It's a wine bar that specialises in a variety of different wines, however, many other drinks are available. Also on deck 5 you'll find the Gelato Parlour. It specialises in a range of gelatos, all made on board. The Italian Chamber of Commerce have recently certified the gelato experience on board Princess ships as the first to offer the authentic confection outside of Italy. Next to the gelato parlour you'll find Celebrations, a shop on board the Sky Princess that sells a variety of duty-free products, including confectionery, cigarettes and alcohol. On deck 5 you'll also find a traditional internet cafe that will allow you to access the internet while you're on board. On the midship elevators you'll find two panoramic lifts that give you beautiful views over the piazza. Bellini's is also located on deck 5 and serves up delicious mimosas, bellinis and other drinks all day and all night.
If you'd like to see the Bellini's menu in detail, just pause the video. The popular International Café is also located just off the piazza on Deck 5. It is open 24 hours a day and serves a selection of hot and cold food as well as sweet treats. It also serves speciality teas and coffees as well as bottles of water. This is the menu from the International Café. As always, if you'd like to see it in more detail, just pause the video. There is always ample seating in and around the piazza, although it can get very busy. On deck six, you'll find the first entrance to the Princess Live Theatre. Boasts a large main stage and has a capacity of 925 passengers. There are usually two shows per evening, one at 8 and one around 10 p.m. Also, on special occasions, there may be a third show on after 11 p.m. Princess Live Theatre plays host to the onboard production team, as well as daily events and talks, including game shows such as Deal or No Deal, and also, when special guests are on board, their Q&A sessions will be in the Princess Live Theatre. Opposite the Deck 6 entrance to Princess Live, you'll find the casino. The casino has a number of tables, as well as a vast variety of slot machines. There's a large bar within the casino. Smoking is also permitted in the casino as indicated by the cigarette icon on the machines. Churchill's can also be found on deck six next to the Princess Theatre entrance. It is a designated smoking area and has its own special menu. If you'd like to see the menu in more detail, just pause the video. You're able to purchase a number of cigars. Churchill's is a relatively small venue and does not have its own bar. Deck 6 is also home to the wonderful Take 5. Take 5 is a jazz venue on board and is very popular. It's perfect for an after dinner cocktail or drink. It offers a vast selection of drinks. If you'd like to see the video in more detail, just press pause. If seated by the window, you'll be treated to some spectacular views, especially early evening. Take 5 can be accessed from deck 6 of the piazza However, it's quite well concealed. On deck six, you'll also find a small selection of shops that sell a range of items at duty-free prices. If you have any issues with your Princess Loyalty membership, you can come to Deck 6 where you'll find the Captain's Circle. Next to the Captain's Circle on Deck 6, you'll find the Future Cruise Centre. Here, you can book future cruises. Princess are currently offering a scheme where if you put in $100 or £75 towards your next cruise, they'll match it or even double it with onboard cruise credit. 
On the opposite side of the Future Cruise Centre, you will find the Art Gallery. The gallery hosts a, a large selection of works of art that can be purchased during your stay on board. On deck six, you'll also find a very large photo and video gallery. Here you can view and purchase all of the photos and videos that the Princess Photography team have taken of you during your cruise. Here you can also purchase a variety of Princess merchandise. Overlooking the piazza on the central staircase, you'll find Good Spirits. It is a very popular venue and has limited seats available. It serves a range of delicious cocktails, as you can see from the menu. If you'd like to see the menu in more detail, just press pause. One of Good Spirits' signature cocktails is the Butterfly. The Butterfly is a colour-changing cocktail. It's a citrusy cocktail and is a must for all Princess cruisers. The Ultimate Gin and Tonic is also available from Good Spirits only and is a definite recommendation of ours. On Deck 7 of Sky Princess you'll find the Shops of Princess. This is a large arcade with a wide variety of stores offering everything from jewellery to watches to perfume, cosmetics and clothing. Here you will also find a vast variety of princess merchandise available for purchase. On deck 7 you'll also find Alfredo's Pizzeria. It's a complimentary pizzeria serving whole individual hand-tossed Neapolitan style pizzas with a choice of different toppings. There's also a good selection of authentic Italian dishes, such as pastas and calzone. Alfredo's is a very popular venue and on sea days you can be waiting for a table. Alfredo's has its own menu, as you can see. If you'd like to see the video in more detail, please press pause. On deck seven, you'll also have access to the promenade and the alfresco eating area. At the back of the ship on deck seven, on the promenade, you'll also find a designated smoking area, looking over the wake. Unfortunately, the promenade is not a full wraparound and stops abruptly. It's also quite difficult to navigate in some places as the deck area is extremely narrow. On deck 7, you'll also find another speciality restaurant, Bistro Sur La Mer. This restaurant is dedicated to French cuisine and charges a supplement of $25 per person. Above the main staircase on deck 7, you'll find the Ocean Terrace Sushi a speciality restaurant that serves a la carte food, making it easy to pick and choose what you'd like to eat. Next to Deck 7 Ocean Terrace Sushi, you will find the Sky Princess Balloons, an ideal spot to grab those selfies. As you make your way towards the aft of the ship on deck 7, you'll come across the Ocean Front Medallion Support Centre. The area has a number of interactive screens where you can just tap your medallion and access your details, as well as dedicated support staff 
for all your medallion app needs. If you encounter any issues with the app, this is the place to go. Right next to the Ocean Medallion Centre, you'll find the wonderful Princess Live. A venue that hosts many game shows and activities of the evening, but also a range of talks and presentations during the day. Princess Live is a very popular venue and fills up very quickly. There are After any of the shows in Princess Theatre, be sure to make your way quickly across to Princess Live in order to guarantee yourself a seat. Here you can see the Princess Live bar menu. To see it in more detail, just pause the video. As we move to the back of the ship, you'll come across the Crown Grill Bar. This area of the ship is attached to the Crown Grill restaurant, which is also another speciality. The bar itself is very popular it's very relaxing and usually has some type of light entertainment available. Next to the Crown Grill Bar, you'll find the Crown Grill Restaurant. It's a speciality restaurant that specialises in steak and charges a supplement of $29. To have a look at the menu, just pause the video. At the very back of the ship you'll find Vista Lounge, a large late night venue that's also used extensively during the day for bingo and trivia quizzes. This is the late night venue on the ship and stays open till late with DJ and music. The menu for Vista Lounge is above. To look at it in more detail, just pause the video. Princess has a lot of passenger staterooms and this is an example of Deck 10 Carib. Every stateroom has a touchscreen monitor on the outside and on that monitor you can see who occupies the room. There are four aft lifts and four forward lifts. At the mid-shift elevators, they have a total of six. You'll find large touchscreens scattered throughout the ship and they're all designed to help you navigate the vessel. Most of the features can be uh, found on the medallion app itself. Majority of decks that consists of passenger staterooms, you will find a laundromat. This is an example of a laundromat on deck 11. As you can see, it has plenty of facilities for washing and ironing, as well as drying your clothes. The iron is free, however, for soap, bleach and softeners, you will have to buy a token by tapping your medallion. Hidden away on deck 14 is the concierge lounge and the wedding chapel. The wedding chapel can be hired for special occasions. The Lido deck on deck 16 is always a buzz with activity. Either side of the pools and hot tubs you'll find sheltered seating 
that's undercover. Whether to shelter from the sun or sit down and have something to eat, there is always ample seating available. As the Lido deck is completely covered with glass, you get to experience some absolutely amazing views as you're sailing and when docked. The Skywalk, located on deck 16, is a dramatic over the ocean glass walkway and is the first of its kind at sea. It's 128 feet above the waves. The Lido deck has a total of two bars. The Sea View bar, shown here, is always on hand to serve you a nice cold drink. Deck 16 also includes the wonderful Salty Dog Grill, where you can get snacks such as burgers, cheese, chips and bacon fries whenever you are hungry or looking for a snack. The Mix is another bar located around the pool and is always there ready to serve you refreshments. Slice, located next to the mix bar on deck 16, is dedicated to pizzas. They always have margarita and pepperoni, and they also have a daily special ready for you to try. The Lido deck is a very popular location, especially on sunny days, and consists of two large pools, seating areas, and a number of hot tubs. You'll find that the entertainment team regularly put on events to keep you entertained during your journey. As well as sun loungers on deck 16, there are also a number of comfy alcoves where you can sit and relax and enjoy. Movies Under the Stars are also located on deck 16. Medallion Play, where users use the Medallion app to interact and play with other passengers, are also hosted on the pool deck using the main TV screen. On deck 16, you'll also find the World Fresh Marketplace, the main onboard buffet. It serves a large selection of foods from all over the world, as well as sweet treats and desserts. Seating is plentiful, however, can fill up quickly during busy periods, especially breakfast. Towards the aft of the World Fresh Marketplace, you will find undercover outdoor seating. At the aft of Deck 16, you will find the Wakeview Pool and Bar offering spectacular views of the ship's wake. The pool and bar area are always busy and it's best to arrive early. Towards the front of the ship on deck 17 you'll find the adult only area, the retreat. The retreat consists of a main pool and a bar. The retreat covers deck 16 and deck 17. On deck 17 of the retreat you'll find a number of hot tubs and plenty of sun loungers. Once again this area does get very busy. Deck 17 allows you to look over the pools and has two walkways either side of the Lido deck. On sunny days, the Lido attendants put out sunbeds and sun loungers all over Deck 17. On Deck 17, you'll also find the entertainment team's main stage. This is the stage that they use for any poolside Lido entertainment. As you move to the after the ship on Deck 17, you'll come across the gym. The gym on Sky Princess is really impressive. There are lots of machines and free weights for you to use.
in the gym they usually hold exercise classes as well for you to attend. On deck 17 you'll also find the teens and children's clubs. The tree house is available for all children between the ages of 3 and 6. Next to the tree house is the lodge and this is for all children aged between 8 and 12 years old. For older children between the ages of 13 and 17, the beach house is available. To the very aft of deck 17, you will find an outside seating area that's a designated smoking area. It's directly above the Wakeview bar on deck 16. At the front of the ship on deck 18, you will find the sanctuary. The sanctuary comprises of a number of luxury sunbeds as well as private cabanas. The sunbeds and the cabanas can be hired for a full day or a half day. During your stay in the sanctuary, you will be treated to waiter service. To hire a cabana for the full day, it will cost you $220. For half day, $140. If you just want to rent a sun lounger, it costs $40 for a full day and $20 for a half day. There are hot tubs available within the sanctuary and the sanctuary also has its own menu. Bookings for the sanctuary fill up very, very quickly. It's advisable to book your visit to the sanctuary as soon as you board. Next to the sanctuary is Deck 18, The Retreat. On deck 18, you'll also find the jogging trap. For those of you inclined, seven laps of the jogging track is one mile. If you are walking on the jogging track, just be mindful that joggers and power walkers use the blue markings, so be vigilant. On deck 18, you'll also come across Centre Court. Centre Court is used for a number of sporting activities and is also used by the kids and teens clubs as well as exercise classes. Deck 19, Mini Golf, is the highest deck that passengers are able to access. There's a small mini golf pitch and it is free to play. As this is the highest spot on the ship, it is absolutely magnificent for those sail away views. Thanks for watching our Sky Princess ship tour. Please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all our content. Like and if you've got any questions just pop them in the comment box below to find more from our sky princess series please click the links on screen thanks for watching please like and subscribe and check us out on social media